For many Hondurans, squalor, disease, and starvation are brutal realities, and children bear the brunt. The very ground is a threat, teeming with parasites that sap their strength and leave them vulnerable to infection. WHO, the World Health Organization, estimates that two billion people are currently infected. Among these, millions of children die from malnutrition each year. Parasites contribute to their starvation. La edad de 0 a 5 años es una edad clave para el desarrollo del niño y es donde eh, es donde los parásitos más afectan porque ellos también necesitan alimento, necesitan carbohidratos, necesitan grasas y sobre todo necesitan proteína. In Honduras, 12% of all childhood illnesses are the direct result of intestinal parasites. Hay una relación muy directa eh, también entre el rendimiento escolar de estos niños con la carga parasitaria que puedan tener. Pueden presentar anemia, cansancio, palidez, a pérdida del apetito, pérdida de peso y agrandamiento del abdomen. It is now possible for these children to reach adulthood healthy, whole, and free from the threat of parasites. Today, experts agree that focused global efforts can end child hunger. The mass treatment of intestinal parasites is a key component in this strategy, protecting children from diseases that rob them of their future. But when children are born into poor communities with inadequate sources of water and sanitation systems, raising healthy children can seem like a monumental task, even for parents with the best intentions. El problema es que los niños míos, las lombrices le salen por las narices, por la boca. Este niño, por la nariz una vez estaba saliendo, por la boquita también. Y la más grande también, así. A mí me daban las tiempos con niños todos desnutridos, en principal el niño pequeñito, va. Y pues ahí me daban no sé qué verlos, en qué tristeza estaban. Yo rodaba mis lágrimas en ver mis niños cómo estaban. Families and communities are no longer alone. International organizations such as UNICEF and the World Food Program, aided by major foundations, generous donors, and local governments, are also taking part in this global initiative as part of the Millennium Development Goals. These programs combat malnutrition, reduce child mortality, and improve maternal health. In the camp of the desparasitation, we will have a direct incidence with the population scolar. Por lo tanto, lo que necesitamos es garantizar que esos niños y niñas que asisten a las escuelas tengan las mejores condiciones de salud para poder seguirse educando y para poder representarle al país en un futuro eh, ciudadanos eh, productores y ciudadanos saludables. En Honduras, the National Deworming Campaign plans to implement a strategy which aims to change people's habits for a healthier, happier life. The campaign will provide deworming medication for the entire infant, child, and adult population according to international standards of care and safety. The campaign will also supply vitamin A to infants and their mothers. A crucial part of the campaign is to help create new attitudes and habits among families, which can prevent intestinal parasites. A variety of media resources will be used to creatively inform and inspire parents to adopt healthier habits and prioritize the care of their children. This information will empower families to create a healthy home environment. The campaign will involve the entire Honduran community. Yo estoy dispuesta a apoyarlos en lo que sea necesario, verdad, independientemente de las áreas donde haya que visitar. Si hay necesidad de que nosotros los apoyemos en el trabajo, pues estoy dispuesta a apoyarlos un 100% para mejorar. Hondurans are ready and willing to conquer this problem. Working together, this condition that causes so much suffering among the youngest and most vulnerable part of the population can be eradicated. Mama Project is inviting you to be part of this endeavor. It is a challenging task, but it is worth the effort. Health for Honduran families is within reach. We need your support. 
Now is the time for action. These children won't be children forever. If they have the chance to enjoy a healthy childhood, they will walk into the future with strength and hope. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible.